Hello kind friends, welcome to Finding Color 100 Prompts, a weekly challenge where we all color in adult coloring books for certain prompts and usually we have uh, one week for coloring. Uh, before I will talk about uh, results for the last week's prompt, a uh, small announcement, our one and a half months uh, color long coming to its end. Uh, space adventures so today and tomorrow are the, la are the last days that you can send your illustrations so if you forgot check um, uh, forgot to send uh, check if you are finishing hurry up <laughs> uh, so now about our prompt number 32 it was corn also we could color popcorn and uh, this prompt was um, quite hard for many colorists to find in the coloring books. Uh, some people didn't find any illustrations, uh, some were able to find only one. Uh, so we have 90 illustrations for this prompt, a little bit less than 100 than our average number. Uh, though some people colored 3-4 illustrations. So it always depends on kind of uh, books that you have in your collection. There are very many illustrations from Circle of Life and uh, from uh, another book by the same artist, uh, Nature Mandalas. Uh, there are several pictures from Manic Botanic, an old coloring book, and I was happy to see uh, several pictures from that book, um, Camille Angelkova, Teresa Goodrich, of course, uh, Nelko Neko, cats, uh, very cute illustrations, also Lulu Mayo and Rita Berman, and of course many other artists. Um, such a variety always makes uh, galleries more interesting. What I have colored? In my last video, uh, I showed you my choice of illustrations of books for this prompt, uh, but I didn't feel like coloring any of those pictures, like, you know, n not in the mood. So I decided to check yet again some, my, some of my printed illustrations, and I found... Uh, Hivaga coloring book by Mardel Rubio. Actually, that was a printed book, uh, and I colored one illustration in it. But um, a paper in that book is so thin, and double-sided illustrations. It was very hard because you can't press pencil because it it ruins uh, illustration on other side. So then I. Uh, I did that book on separate pages and I printed every second page uh, that I can color freely, not worrying about ruining a next side illustration. And so I found in that book a picture with a corn. Here it is. That's the original. So this illustration I didn't print, didn't scan. And this one I did, but my scanner is of no good quality, so a very light lines, so I have to check sometimes what it is. Who knows this artist, Marde Rubio? They know that <laughs> it's not easy to color artists. I mean, uh, because there are always many things going on on his illustrations and in many cases you can't understand what it is. Uh, but you know, you don't have to understand what it is, just color, because his illustrations so unrealistic, so magical kind of, so you, you can, it, it can be anything, like, um, let me show like this part, I'm not sure what it is, some hair decoration or maybe water or I don't know, but I colored it in this in this color, uh, same with this part, I don't know what it is, so I just 
choose colors that I like and color. And uh, plus, you can see a fish here, right? So I assumed it's a mermaid underwater in, in this uh, plants they look like some underwater plants but then we we see a corn here in her hair I don't know in what way it <laughs> it is here but it doesn't matter right so I was happy to see corn and I thought I haven't colored in this book for ages and I was happy to color it and I like the result, it, it's bright, colorful, it's a magical kind of, so I really enjoyed it. I used markers here and color pencils, of course. Mm, for the skin I started to use polychromos, but they don't work nicely on this paper, surprisingly, so I'm not quite happy with the smoothness of her skin. But other than that, yeah, I'm quite pleased. So that was my illustration for this prompt. And now let's see all the submitted illustrations. And I hope you will enjoy it. Let's go.
That was our gallery of works for the pruned uh, corn popcorn. Uh, thank you everyone who joined. And now let me take my colorful box and draw another prompt for the upcoming week. And I hope it's not going to be something connected with the farm again. <laughs> because we have we had three prompts in a row connected with uh, farm and if you notice there was one illustration in our today's gallery where there were uh, all three prompts in one picture a cow a piggy and corn <laughs> it was funny so okay i, I hope uh, it will be something different but you never know let's find out So friends, this time we've got prompt uh, hammock. Uh, it, it's more about holidays, about uh, sea, beach, at least for me, straight away I imagine such things like um, enjoying yourself in hammock somewhere on the beach looking at the sea waves. Um, the only illustration that comes into my mind at the moment, I believe it's uh, Jason Momoa coloring book, uh, where Jason in hammock enjoying, I believe it's Jason Momoa, not Keanu Reeves, though I, maybe I'm confusing, because uh, same author and kind of uh, similar um, illustrations in these two books but I will check uh, and that's all so I will have to look through my books because at the moment yeah I, I can't remember anything else but it's nice to have something different after three in a row prompts uh, farmers prompts um, something more summary holiday mood so i'm off to look through my books and see you in a second so friends i'm back and it took me quite a lot of time to search through my collection because i desperately wanted to find more illustrations with hammocks but alas <coughs> in spite of my efforts i found only three illustrations Besides, during the time that I was busy with uh, looking for illustrations, something happened with my camera. Uh, though I did nothing, it was off and then I turned it on, it doesn't work. It kind of turns on but uh, black screen and I can't see even those episodes that I have already um, filmed. So I'm not sure whether I'll be able to recover those files and um, I'm using my old camera at the moment and so I don't know, I have no time to refilm all those previous episodes uh, plus I can't uh, refilm uh, the moment I draw another prompt. So. I will have to think of something then, maybe I will have to write instead of those episodes, I don't know. I'm really upset about this situation um, and I'm kind of upset about hammock prompt. It's such an interesting prompt, I imagined uh, so many interesting beautiful illustrations with holidays, 
Also, I thought about pirates, maybe, you know, sheep, and uh, there are supposed to be hammocks there. Uh, but no, not in my any of my pirate books. I didn't find any hammocks, not in any other books. Only these three, Jason Momoa, Maurizio Campidelli, and actually there is uh, such illustration in Keanu Reeves as well. In this one we have uh, like <clears throat> more details on this picture. Uh, the figure is almost full here, we can see even this small guy here. A nice uh, landscape on the background, really love this. Uh, in Keanu Reeves, uh, less details and he's more like uh, close up. A little bit different landscape here. Uh, but yeah, we, we can see hammock here. And the third illustration is from this Korean book, um, Grace J, Cat. And we have this cute cat in hammock. Again, kind of same <laughs> landscape, uh, sea, uh, sky, but uh, yeah, a little bit different. So that's all. Uh, so I guess the, many of you will have uh, trouble in finding illustration for this prompt, but I hope, I hope that some of you uh, will find something. Uh, please, if you know any books uh, with hammocks illustrations, uh, write in the comments below for other people uh, to see, uh, let them know. And that was all for today, and see you next time, bye!